Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to the Daily Dose for Spiritual Girl. Today is Motivational Monday. We're going to dive into Proverbs chapter 16. But hey, I just want to say Happy Independence Day. Yesterday we celebrated the freedom that we have here in the United States. And uh, we talked about how we can have true freedom by the blood of Jesus Christ, by accepting that free gift of salvation, the atonement for the sins that we commit because we all fall short. If you happen to miss the message, I want to encourage you to go back and watch the message. Hopefully you'll be encouraged and God would speak to you because you know so many times we can trick ourselves into having a false sense of freedom. But let's not let's not fool ourselves. Let's not deceive ourselves. The true freedom comes through Jesus Christ. Uh, and today uh, for Motivational Monday, we're going to talk about our motives. We're going to talk about our plans. Um, and we're going to dive into verse 1 here. We can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Verse 3, commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Now, I don't know what personality you have. I don't know if you have this type A personality and you're, you you drive, you, you go. I mean, you're self-motivated. That's great. That's fantastic. But let's not confuse and let's not deceive ourselves here. What, does, what defines success and what should our motive be and what should our priority be here? Uh, I'm going to read those three verses one more time. I want you to think about your life, think about your personality and what you do. Verse 1, we can make our own plans, but the Lord gives the right answer. People may be pure in their own eyes, but the Lord examines their motives. Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. All right, now I want you to think about that now for your life here. Now, when you make plans, when you have your career, when you have your family, when you have whatever you're, you're striving to, what are you striving to? for it would be a great question but also are you committing your plans to the lord or are you relying just on your own experience your own personality your own giftings we need to recognize where did those giftings come from they came from the lord he created you in your in his own image and he knows what's best for you see he has a plan and a purpose for you and so if we commit our plans, our desires, our giftings, the things that he's already gifted to us, if we present that to him, he will have us succeed. And so I want us to, to be not deceiving ourselves because we can, we can easily deceive ourselves and even deceive others. In verse 2, people may be pure in, in their own eyes, but really the Lord examines our heart and knows our motives. And so let's not deceive ourselves, let's not deceive others, because uh, we certainly can't deceive God. He knows the motives of our heart. So let's commit our plans to the Lord. Verse 9 of chapter 16 says, We can make our own plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Or maybe another translation says, The Lord orchestrates our steps. And so let's not deceive ourselves here. We're not that cool. You know, we're not that in control here. The Lord determines our steps. And so it's good to be a planner. It's good to have goals. It's good to strive and to have the prudence and to think ahead. But let's have our motives be right. Let's commit them to the Lord and he will make us succeed because he loves us and he wants us to succeed. He wants us to thrive. And so let's do that today. Commit your plans to the Lord and he will make you succeed. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.